welcome back to another awesome action toy. Today we're reviewing dun 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 the 303 Marine Laurel. Here is the box. It is a big box. Lovely artwork on the front. We can see two Marine Laurels with pilots there with their grenade launchers and their cannons on their shoulders. It says 118 scale military infantry unit, fully weathering, detailed. Highly completed action collectibles, action figure is included. Side, side, and the back with the go feel. So you feel the weathering of the toy if it is inside there. But mine is not, mine is already open. It's a nice box for a really awesome mech. Let's have a look at the toy. So here it is, the 303 Marine Laurel. And it does come with, as the picture on the box suggests, this awesome handheld grenade launcher. Okay, let's look at the weapon here first. What features do we have? A handle that turns to make it easier for posing. Uh, slightly hollowed out on the barrel there, thick handle for the hand, and you can remove the ammunition barrel which is a nice feature. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, basic paintwork, but it is weathered. Not particularly textured, just a little bit, but does look nice. Okay, then we have the shoulder cannon, which is nice, and it has this ammo pack, which fits on the side there. Now this can be swapped from one side to the other. You can put two on if you've got two marine laurels, one on the other side, but they won't be even because this is only one-sided. This has your full circular articulation up and down too. So it's nice and it can fold that way as well. Okay, so the marine color scheme, this is really nice. The nice green we like for the Marines. It's got the uh, sort of beige colour here. Look at the detail. 303. And it says low. Does it say Marine there? No, it's got an insignia, which maybe you can make out there. And you've got 303 on the side again on the shoulder insignias. Okay. Other features. Let's go from the bottom up. So the feet. You have articulation on the toes here, which is nice. Have some postures, full ankle articulation including the out and in so you could do like this like this etc you can do it up down on his toes you want to have like a tiptoeing or something or running that can be done too the legs are double knee jointed I believe there we go double joint on the knees so you get a real nice bend on the knees. Now the legs are short, which some people aren't so keen on, but it does give it a certain unique aesthetic, which I quite like. Moving up, we have at the bottom, this stand part pops down, so you can have the laurel, so move the hips up and then the legs, in a more seated position or more stable position like Thus, like a tripod there. Very, very nice. Moving up to the arms, again, we've got the double joint on the arms. You get very, very good bend, well over 90 degrees there. Not quite flat, but close enough. Shoulders are out, and they turn on a little ratchet there. Very, very good. And they're stiff, which is nice for posing. Uh, the hands are just rubbery, there's no articulation, but it's good for gripping. Uh, Kit did tease an articulation pack for the hands, for laurels, uh, quite a while ago, but that has not been released. We all wait with bated breath for that. Okay, very nice. Okay, so let's look at the cockpit. I'll remove the gun uh, for this, just to make it a bit easier to get access and to see. Okay, so some nice features we have here in the cockpit. What I like, you take the top up like so, you can pull the front piece down here, expose the pilot, but if you pull it down further, the engine block at the back comes out too, which is a nice feature. Pilot sits inside, we'll look at the pilot 
in a moment. Um, we have here handles for the pilot. Very difficult to see. There is ammunition, but you can't take it out. In fact, if I take the pilot's head off, or his hat off, take his head off, maybe we can see this clearer. There is ammunition just inside here, which you can just about make out there. Okay, which is a nice little feature. Handles for the pilot to hold on to for controlling. And the feature that many, many of us missed when someone told us about what to find, on the inside on this side, there is a clipboard. Now, to get the clipboard out, you're probably going to need a pair of pliers, uh, or clippers, or um, tweezers rather, not clippers. Let's see if I can get this out. Not easy, because it is quite firm in. And I think I'll have to take the pilot out first, let me have a look. Yeah, let me take the pilot out first, then we can have a look. Okay, so let's get the pilot out. We can look inside the cockpit a bit more now. The handles that he controls do fold in and out, which is nice. Okay, let's try and get this clipboard out. It's good to keep it in there so you don't lose it, otherwise you might lose your clipboard. Uh, no, I think I've got my own stuck somehow. Let's have a look at it again. Not easy, he says. Okay, now, there we go. So, let's put the head on my pilot. It's the same head as we've got on the uh, Facetti and the AMM. Uh, same helmet as we've got on the AMM, but with the skull logo, we get in the Marines, this does come up. Highly opposable. Marine colour scheme, the vests, different vests that we got earlier for some of the other ones, or rather a different colour on the vest. Very, very nice figure indeed. People would like some of these separate, I know. I myself would like to get better by these uh, separately. Easy to pose, easy to stand up. Doesn't come with a gun, but it's got a huge mech to control. It does have a clipboard, which you can hold like thus to put your tactics, your battle plans on, etc. Uh, same articulation as the Soul Commander, as the Argots. You can see my Argots video for that, so it's really, really good articulation. Great colour scheme on the pilot as well. This is a really nice, really nice figure. Okay, so the Laurel. Very, very nice. Nice to have the accessory of the clipboard for the pilot. Again, if you are going to take it out, it's a really good idea to put it back in and keep it there, as you might lose it. Uh, if I just close this up a little bit, there's no canopy cover there, which some people don't like. But, you know, that's on the Ghost Laurel, the Worker Laurels as well, and on the Zombie Laurel, which is to be released uh, soon. Very easy to pose the arms and to hold the uh, grenade launcher because it's got the double bend on the elbow, makes it really easy. And you've got the turn on the actual swivel on the actual handle itself, and straighten his legs a little bit, make him a bit taller. The one thing I would say is very top heavy, so if your joints are a bit loose on the ankles and the legs, he can fall over or not be so secure standing up. Okay, so. Here he is. Standing up with a grenade launcher, really, really nice toy. You can see the scale I put it next to the actual figure there. This is really something nice, and it's very sought after. If I attach the shoulder cannon again to get the complete aesthetic, the complete look, you see that this is a lovely toy, nicely designed. It feels very high quality. The weathering is nice. You've got the paint fading and so forth. Great for setting up for dios and whatnot, and so on. So the Marine Laurel by uh, Acid Rain Marine Laurel by Oritoy, really nice, worth finding if you can. Cannot find them in the shops now unless you're very, very lucky. The price on these is going up. Uh, so it was like 100 USD when it first came out, or around that. Now they're looking at maybe 120, 130, and going upwards because they're so hard to find and they're very sought after. So if you can find one, I do recommend getting one. 
It's a very, very nice toy. This is the Acid Rain Marine Laurel by Orito. So I'm going to put this back and then I'll be uh, having a little play. Okay, please like, share, subscribe and look out for more videos by Awesome Action Toys. Until next time.